have you ever thought about all the ways in which certain rules help us live our lives let's do this with an example let's say that it has been decided by someone in your family that you get to eat your favorite sweet once a week if you don't get that sweet by the end of the week you can go ask your parents why they haven't given you a sweet and they will have to tell you the reason this is because based on the established rules in your house you have a right to claim a sweet if you think about it even our country works in a similar manner obviously the issues that our government has to deal with are a little more complex than claiming a sweet but just like how you have a right in your house there are certain rights that the citizens of our country have been given these rights are called fundamental rights in case these rights are not provided the citizens can go to a court of law to claim these rights okay now let's think of a different scenario let's say there are certain guidelines that all the people in your family have decided to follow these guidelines have been proposed so that as a family you have more understanding of each other's lives the intent is for you to become an ideal family an ideal family can mean a lot of things for the purpose of this example let's say it means a family in which there are regular interactions among members and decisions are taken based on healthy discussions and debates now let's say your parents have put forth a guideline something as simple as sitting down and having a meal together once a week but there may be some days when your parents are working late and they aren't available if any of these guidelines aren't followed you probably wouldn't be happy about it but you cannot go and demand that these guidelines be followed because these aren't rules that have been agreed upon and set they are good practices that you have been advised to follow they'll also help your family in making rules that aren't too strict as well as think about all its members before enforcing them there are also some principles given in the constitution that are used as guidelines or directives these principles are not yet fundamental rights but they are important goals for the achievement of a welfare state they also act as guidelines to the legislators or the law making bodies in our country the law makers have to consider all the principles think about all the people who would be affected by the laws they make and then make the laws after all this deliberation who law making is a complex process huh all right so let's learn a bit more about these principles these principles or guidelines that direct us and have been laid down to achieve the ideal welfare state are called directive principles of state policy be it the law making bodies or the implementors of laws in our country all the people have to keep these directive principles in mind as tools to link certain ideas with reality These directive principles have been mentioned in part 4 of the Indian Constitution and the concept of directive principles was borrowed from the Irish Constitution. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these like and subscribe to our channel now.